In dynamics, the van der Paal oscillator is a non-conservative oscillator with non-linear damping. It evolves in time according to the second-order differential equation, where x is the position coordinate, which is a function of the time t, and mu is a scalar parameter indicating the non-linearity and the strength of the damping. History The van der Paal oscillator was originally proposed by the Dutch electrical engineer and physicist Balthazar van der Paal while he was working at Philips. Van der Poel found stable oscillations, which he called relaxation oscillations and are now known as limit cycles, in electrical circuits employing vacuum tubes. When these circuits were driven near the limit cycle they become untrained, i.e., the driving signal pulls the current along with it. Van der Poel and his colleague, van der Mark, reported in the September 1927 issue of Nature that at certain drive frequencies an irregular noise was heard. This irregular noise was always heard near the natural entrainment frequencies. This was one of the first discovered instances of deterministic chaos. The van der Paal equation has a long history of being used in both the physical and biological sciences. For instance, in biology, Fitzhugh and Nagumu extended the equation in a planar field as a model for action potentials of neurons. The equation has also been utilized in seismology to model the two plates in a geological fault, and in studies of phonation to model the right and left vocal fold oscillators. Two-dimensional form Leonard's theorem can be used to prove that the system has a limit cycle. Applying the Leonard transformation, where the dot indicates the time derivative, the van der Paal oscillator can be written in its two-dimensional form. Another commonly used form based on the transformation is leading to results for the unforced oscillator. Two interesting regimes for the characteristics of the unforced oscillator are, when mu equals zero, i.e., there is no damping function, the equation becomes. This is a form of the simple harmonic oscillator and there is always conservation of energy. When mu greater than zero, the system will enter a limit cycle. Near the origin x equals dx, dt equals zero the system is unstable, and far from the origin the system is damped. Hamiltonian for van der Paal oscillator. One can also write a time-independent Hamiltonian formalism for van der Paal oscillator by augmenting it to a four-dimensional autonomous dynamical system using an auxiliary second-order nonlinear differential equation as follows. Note that the dynamics of the original van der Paal oscillator is not affected due to the one-way coupling between the time evolutions of x and y variables. A Hamiltonian h for this system of equations can be shown to be where px and py are the conjugate momenta corresponding to x and y respectively. This may, in principle, lead to quantization of van der Paal oscillator. Force van der Paal oscillator the force, or driven, van der Paal oscillator takes the original function and adds a driving function asin to give a differential equation of the form, where a is the amplitude, or displacement, of the wave function and omega is its angular velocity. Popular culture, author James Glayick describes a vacuum tube van der Paal oscillator in his book Chaos, Making a New Science. According to a New York Times article, Glayak received a modern electronic van der Paal oscillator from a reader in 1988.